let's talk about materiality concept as the name suggests it is a constraint for the company and its accountants that only material facts are to be mentioned in the financial statements anything that is immaterial for the business does not get mentioned in the financial statements now if you're asking yourself what exactly is material fact or how does one know whether a transaction or an event is material enough to be reported in the financial statements the answer is any item that has very little value or no impact on a user's decision are termed as immaterial if you don't know about the uses of financial statements i've discussed about them in my full disclosure concept video i leave a link in the description and somewhere here on the screen back to the concept let me simplify the concept with an example suppose your company has lost some part of the inventory due to water leakage in your warehouse now the valuation of inventory damaged is rupees 5000 assuming that your company is not a small company and has stock worth rupees 5 crores on an average now for a company which has a stock valuation of rupees 5 crores on an average a damage worth of rupees 5000 is not significant since it comprises only 0.01% of the entire value this event is not material enough to be reported in the financial statements as it is not going to affect the decision making process for any user of the financial statements in any manner however for a company which has an entire stock of rupees 25000 a damage of rupees 5000 is material enough this tells us that a fact or an event can be material to one company and immaterial to another at the same time in the end i would like to add one last thing this concept defines the threshold or cut off point after which financial information becomes relevant to the decision making needs of the users and that's the materiality concept if you still have questions relating to the concept drop them into the comment section and i will answer them thanks for watching